Hi there, it's Nicole here today for Honey Bee Stamps. And today I'm gonna share this Blah Hum Bunny Snow Globe Shaker card. The new Blah Hum Bunny is some new, absolutely adorable holiday themed images that are very similar or kind of um, build upon the very popular Blah Bunny stamp set. These cute little bunnies and holiday type greetings are just fantastic. Paired with the awesome new ornament shaker card dies, which you can either create ornaments or there's the components to build a snow globe. There are t those two options there which are just phenomenal. So lots and lots of great ways to use this die collection. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to create some shaker type ornaments with these as well. Now I have already pre-die cut some of the components, components for my card. I have got the embossable plastic here it doesn't have to be embossable. I am not embossing on it. It's just a nice lightweight transparency that I die cut using the solid um, ornament shape die. That is going to be for the window and for the backer. Then the frame is created for the front of the shaker and I die cut that from some aqua cardstock. Now what I'm doing here is taking sentiments from the blah Hum Bunny stamp set, and I want to curve them to follow the shape of the snow globe. Um, I'm using my die on the front of my Misty. I just taped it there with a little post-it tape as a guide. Um, instead of having to work back and forth and back and forth from my actual die cut piece and that acetate window, this works so much better. It really kind of shows me where it needs to go. Now I fiddled with it quite a bit. I wanted to get it exactly right. I wanted it to have a nice curving edge to the design. So I really fiddled with it a lot. You probably would not have to do that. If you don't want to fiddle with it at all, you could stamp this straight across as long as you've left room um, and you aren't going to cover it up with your other images. I am going to stamp this then with some cotton white stays on ink. I absolutely love the cotton white stays on. I have mentioned this before in other videos. Um, it is just my absolute favorite for stamping on shaker windows. I'm going to set that aside and go ahead and quickly color in my Blah Hum Bunny images. I also stamped these off camera to save a little bit of time today. I have stamped these on some Bristol Smooth cardstock using Versafine Onyx Black ink. This is a great ink for the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. It gives a fantastic bold black crisp outline. I absolutely love this ink. It's not good for Copic markers or alcohol ink markers, but for watercolor markers, it's fantastic. This is my go-to ink now for using when I'm coloring with my zigs. The colors I'm using for each area are listed across the top of the screen. I've listed the color number and name for easy reference really quick coloring here. I've got my little bunny, I've got his little elf hat, and then I'll have some candy canes and the scarf and gift package. I did color in the little jingle bell. I ended up not using it. It just wasn't working for me for whatever reason. So I ended up using some Nuvo crystal drops to adorn his hat instead. But there is that jingle bell if you want to use that. Aren't the expressions on the bunnies' faces in this stamp set just hysterical? I think they are so cute, so clever, and just different than so many things that you see out there. I think that the sentiments in the Blah Hum Bunny stamp set really can speak probably to a lot of us at times, maybe during the holiday season, or, or to children, or just whatever. Sometimes the Christmas spirit can be hard to get into, for whatever reason, 
or they're just funny. I think these are just hilarious and funny. Um, I'm planning on making a set of tags with these because I think that it would just really be cute and clever to add some of these funny little sentiments on greeting tags. Okay, now that I have my components, I did die cut all of my images with the coordinating Blahum Bunny dies. I'm ready to start putting it together. And what you have to do here is we want to glue one of the frames to the front of the acetate. And I've got my, ba my uh, shaker backer back behind it just to give it a little bit of definition to hopefully help see what I'm doing a little bit. And before I glued it, I thought I wanted to add some falling snow to the shaker. Now it ended up, I don't think that you can see it very well with the shaker material I used. If I had used seed beads or sequins, this would have showed up a lot better. I still really like it, so I don't regret doing it, but these little snowflakes are from the Flaky Friends stamp set. I'm gonna use a shaker, the confetti, it's called Snowdrift, it's from Honeybee, and it really just kind of, I think, took away from that a little bit, totally fine, but it's just another idea. I love decorating my shaker clear windows. Now this is what I was talking about where I glued a frame to the front of the acetate, then I flipped it over. So that frame on the front is going to be the front of the shaker. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to go ahead and glue several more frames on the back, stacking them one on top of another. Now one of the reasons, or the reason I did this, it's really tricky to do a shaker for me and piece together fun uh, foam adhesive or fun foam or whatever it might be on the back. I think it's just that curved edge kind of provides a little bit of a challenge. And I also am not crazy about how it looks from the side profile. It just doesn't look very nice and professional. Fun foam is better than the foam adhesive, I think. I chose not to do fun foam here. I wanted to show another option. Um, if you don't have fun foam available, you can always die cut multiple frames and stack them one on top of another to get that dimension that you need to create a shaker well. You wouldn't have to use all colored cardstock if you didn't want to either. If you wanted to you know, use the colorful cardstock on the front of your shaker and then stack several white die cut frames for the dimension, you could do that too. I wanted from the side for you to just see blue, but it is completely up to you. If you don't wanna use up all your pretty colorful cardstock, using white is perfectly fine. I have done that before, I will do it again. It's, especially if I don't have enough of a certain color of cardstock, that's always a great option. Now I did die cut another one of the frames from white cardstock and then I used one of the new hill borders to die cut a little snowy border here. I'm just adding a little tumbled glass distress ink to the edge. This is gonna go on the front of my shaker, glued right down there along the bottom edge of the frame. Something I've mentioned before in my shaker card videos, I really enjoy my shakers to have lots of layers, even if there's not a lot of um, separate pieces of paper, I guess I wanna say. Meaning, I like there to be something on the front. In this case, there's gonna be that snow drift and my bunny, all the elements are gonna be on the front so they don't get covered up with the confetti. So it doesn't obscure that at any point. I also am a huge fan of having my greeting stamped directly on the acetate so that it never gets covered up with the shaker material as well. And oftentimes I like some things to be going on on the inside of the shaker as well. So maybe some elements adhere to the inside. For this card, I did not, but a lot of times I will like that as well. Now you might have noticed I trimmed off the little bit of white edge on the right side of that scarf die cut. And I did that because it was covering up his cute little hand, um, pushing up his cheek there, kind of like he's leaning his little face on 
um, his hand and it just took away from that. So I just trimmed it off to make it look a little nicer. Now this is the bell. I left it in here because for whatever reason it was bothering me. It just did not lay the way I wanted it to. I think if I would have maybe masked all these images and then fussy cut it, I would have liked it a lot better. And I definitely wanna try that sometime in the future. But I just popped this off because the liquid glue, um, because I did use li liquid glue, it does kind of pull off some of the color off of the hat. All I have to do is go back with my zig marker and just color back over that to fix it. So there, I'm just gonna go in with my sugared almond pink and fix his hat real quick. Now I have a white card base. I did round the corners. I used to round the corners all the time, like five, six, seven years ago. That seemed to be something that I did a lot. And all of a sudden I find myself rounding the corners of my cards again. Um, I don't know what it is, but I really have been enjoying it. And I'm so glad that I held on to my corner chomper so that I can still do that. I did feel though that the white cardstock background was just a little boring. So what I'm gonna do is take several snowflake stamps from the Flaky Friends stamp set. It's that same stamp set that I used to stamp those little white flurries all over the acetate window. I'm gonna pick them up with an acrylic block and and stamp all over the front, kind of all around the edges. I don't have to stamp in the center because it will be covered up with the snow globe with these snowflakes using an aqua ink. And it's gonna give a fantastic pattern, almost looking like a pattern paper there back behind my snow globe. It's still nice and subtle, that nice light blue color. It won't take away from the design at all. Now this confetti is called Snowdrift and it is so super cute. It's also brand new from Honeybee. It's little diamond shapes and I think it's just perfect for snow. Very, very cute. I'm gonna glue the backer on the back of this. Because this is a lot of layers, because I'm gluing all these frames together, I want it to be really nice and flat and compressed. To do this, I am putting several acrylic blocks on top of this and letting it dry completely. That's gonna ensure a fantastic, nice, secure bond. It's gonna make the edges really, really nice. You can kind of see the thickness here. It's thick, but it's still not near as thick as it would be if I had used a foam adhesive. I'm gonna glue my shaker now to my card base try to figure out where I want this to go. And I'll show you how you create the snow globe as opposed to the ornament. So that little top there, that would be where the ornament topper goes. Instead, we're gonna flip that around to the bottom and that's gonna get covered up with the snow globe base. Because this is a dimensional frame, I do need to build up both sides of my snow globe base. So I'm gonna stack two foam adhesive squares, one on top of another, and that's gonna kind of straddle that little topper thing there. And I can glue that right down along the bottom edge. Isn't that so super cute? What I love about Honey Bee is that the details are all there. They could have just left it with this as the little snow glow base, but instead there's the additional pieces that you can die cut and layer on top that give it a fantastic, beautiful finished look. I even think that that little bottom portion especially would be fantastic and be a great place to stamp a sentiment if you wanted to. Um, if you didn't wanna add your greeting to the snow globe, shaker window, you could very easily stamp something on that little piece there and glue it down. I did mine all the same color, but I think several different shades of gray or a couple different shades of gray or whatever it might be, whatever color you wanna use, would be really nice as well. So I'm just gonna glue those in place. And now a few finishing touches. I'm gonna to use some Nouveau Crystal Drops glossy accents, a white pin. That's just gonna add some little highlights to the eyes with the white pin. Glossy accents for the nose and also for the candy canes, I thought give those a nice little glossy finish. And then the Nouveau Crystal Drops in Carnation Pink and Caribbean Ocean are gonna create little 
like little uh, pom-poms on the tips of the elf hat. And then because I chose not to use the jingle bell on the tip of that elf hat, I instead decided to use the Nouveau Crystal Drops in bright gold to add a jingle bell instead. So I'm just going to kind of hold my bottle very vertical and squeeze out just a small little drop to decorate the tips of his little hat there. Once I have those all in place, I'm gonna let this sit and dry completely. And this Blah Hum Bunny Shaker Snow Globe card is all finished. Thanks for joining me today. Please visit the Honeybee blog for more information. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.